Friday the 13th today. Give us a call. We want to hear what weird and wonderful things are going on in your life today. Give us a call on the usual number. We're here ready to listen to whatever you want to tell us. The more weird and the more wonderful, the better. It is a beautiful sunny day out there today, but I have been informed that there is a slight chance of rain, so take those brollies with you. And if it does rain, who cares? The weekend is coming. I do hope you're all having a good day out there, but if anything strange or out of the ordinary has happened to you today, please get in touch with us and share your stories. Or maybe you're actually afraid of following your daily routine precisely because you think things may go wrong today. Whatever the situation, I would love to hear your superstitions. Do you dare to venture out of your house? Call us and let us know. We're here in the studio ready for your call. You're listening to BBC Radio 2. It's drive time. Give us a call, ladies and gents. We want to know what you're doing today. It's Friday the 13th. You must have loads of weird and wonderful things to tell us. If you do have a bad day today, always remember to look on the bright side of life. Are you booked for uh, Tilly Road, is it? Yes, please. I'm surprised we haven't had many calls today about the Bad Luck Fridays brought. I thought we'd be bombarded with stories of woe, so maybe it's not such a bad day after all. Good or bad, call us and let us know about your day. You know what they say, your luck is in the stars. So it may be that you have a wonderful day. I'm sure some of you out there are perhaps celebrating a birthday or a wedding. Why don't you call us and share with us what it's like to be celebrating on Friday the 13th? I don't know how this works. You do it. You're old enough to know how to use a VHS anyway. <laughs> Mum, David's calling me old. Adam, I've told you not to go out without your coat on. Mum, that's David. I'm Adam. Hi. My name's Michael and this is my story. I'm calling to say that Friday the 13th doesn't have to be an unlucky day. 34 years ago today, my beautiful wife and I got married. It was Friday the 13th. It was the most wonderful day of my life. Mary, darling, marrying you was the best decision I've ever made. I still love and cherish you as I vowed to on our wedding day. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for me and for our Adam. I wish I hadn't wasted all those years staying apart from him. I wish you both knew how much you mean to me. I miss you both so much. Mary, my love, I know that you always wanted me to accept Adam for who he is, because he is our son. I know this and I'm sorry. It may be a little too late now, but I want you to know, all that matters to me now is his happiness, and as long as he's happy, I'll be happy. He'll always be my son, and I love you both. 
Wow, thank you, Michael. Quite a story. A perfect example that Friday the 13th doesn't have to be a bad day. Keep the calls coming in, ladies and gents. And Michael, I hope that Mary and Adam are listening to your beautiful words. Was, was that your dad? It couldn't have been. He's gone out to buy bread. I heard it too. Dad? I knew you'd be here and uh, I didn't want to just walk in without letting you know how I felt. Did you buy eggs as well as bread? No, the shop was shut when I got there, love. Dad, what you said on the radio, did you mean it? I think your mother would love to see this now, don't you, son? <laughs> 